Welcome to Models and Cars, and today we're in our first official interview in the Models and Cars Garage studio. And before we turn this over to Maddie to do the interviews, I thought that our viewers would like to see uh, her sit in the hot seat. So we're going to put her in the hot seat today. We're going to talk about her and the third um, channel car. Uh, of course, uh, if you've been with the channel for a long time, you know it started with Hot Wheels, the 2010 Camaro. Uh, you know that I've been building the Beetle up as Project Scarab as a dune buggy. And the third car we haven't seen a whole lot of uh, due to a variety of factors, but we'll be bringing it on shortly. And uh, so Maddie, let, why don't you talk about your car? So I really love my car. I love my car so much. It's a convertible uh, 1999 Porsche Boxster or the 986. And I don't know, I love her. It's so nice. It's nice that it's summertime now and I can put the top down. And um, it's just honestly like a big stress reliever in my car. I don't know. I haven't had any problems with it yet either. So, you know, <laughs> um, <laughs> that's definitely a bonus. But I don't know. It's definitely a stress reliever. It's a big stress reliever, actually. So, how long have you had the car? Uh, since October, so almost a year. It's nice to have, finally have summer, you know what I mean? Because I did just have it in the winter. But. Yeah, buying it in October, you probably only had a couple days you could get that top down. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, yeah, so I'm definitely taking advantage. <laughs> definitely. Why don't we talk about some of the other cars you've had prior to this? Um, yeah, sure. So I drove a Super Forester, which I actually really loved, first car. Got it from my uncle and high mileage, didn't last that long, you know what I mean, a first car. But I really loved it, I love the small SUV. Um, and then I drove the white bug for a while, so that was nice. I had it for a lot longer actually. Yeah. I did miss out on people punching each other. I thought I would see people punching each other all the time, being like, <laughs> punch buggy white. But no, <laughs> I don't know, it's not like, I guess it's not a thing anymore. But, yeah, I did love driving it. It very much is. I mean, I have definitely heard it. Because we haven't really told anybody on it. We haven't really announced, made that announcement in jail. The bug was actually your car. Yeah. Um, now, do you wish that you had had the dune buggy? <laughs> <laughs> um, according to some of my friends, yes. And I do, too. I mean, I don't know. It, I really like it. I don't know if it's necessarily my vibe, but it's definitely cool. I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah, I do know what you mean. I mean, I've actually had guys, but it, and it, it's very a very female car. A lot yeah. of females drive it. I would love the hippie car. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. This is like ultra urban. What do you call it? Urban. Urban assault. Vehicle. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that's where I'm going with it. Yeah. But um, I've actually had guys stop me and say, "That's a bug I would drive." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's definitely so, completely changed the look. Completely. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, okay, so. Um, how has the Porsche been treating you otherwise? Have you been doing well? And... I mean, yeah. I don't know. It, cause sometimes it kind of is a disadvantage that it's a two-seater because like more of my friends want to come along or whatever. Or I want to like take my family out to dinner and I'm like, oh, I can't take the Porsche, you know what I mean? But I don't know. I really, all positives, you know, although I do get sunburned sometimes. <laughs> I'm on a long drive a drive through too long it's all red <laughs> um but you know yeah no, i really love it and it's a lot of my friends love it you know what i mean like it's just an iconic car it's iconic i've always wanted it always ever since like cars the movie came out right you know what i'm saying lightning mcqueen's girlfriend i was like i want that car i love her <laughs> and then i saw it and it's the same color you know what i mean i don't know if it's the exact same it's, car it's... but well, it's, it's not. She was a 911, yeah. but in that year, in this body style, the front nose piece is actually the exact same as a 911. They actually Ooh. took yeah. the Porsche Boxster is a, it's, Porsche people, well, first of all, they call it the Volkswagen, um, because it, it actually, it's the bit bug. This is actually the squash bug is what I think they call it. Really? Yeah, because a lot of the parts, when they built this car, it was, um, they're looking for a lower priced vehicle. So Porsche is owned by Audi, who also owns VW. And they went into the parts bin. And so a lot of the parts in this car are Volkswagen parts or Audi parts. The engine's uh, Porsche. The whole front nose pieces are Porsche. It's the 911. It's exactly the 911. Yeah. And you know, a person who's a 911 owner that spent a hundred and some thousand dollars for their car from the yeah. front end, uh, I think this car was around 56,000 brand new. 
you know, for half the price, they got the same looking front end. From the front, you can't tell the difference. So there are Porsche owners who don't like this car. But it is an, an amazing track car. It is a car that um, a lot of people actually take and use as a race car for the track, uh, and, or track days. And what I mean is, is uh, as an everyday driver, you know, as a daily driver, you can take this car onto a uh, race course on a day where basically you're racing against times and you're not you're not competitive racing wheel to wheel. There's space in between everybody. Oh, okay. So you're on the track basically by yourself, but a few seconds ahead of you and a few seconds behind you, there's another car. Um, there's all kinds of rules for, yeah. you know, like if someone's behind you faster, you pull over to so allow them to pass and stuff like that. But they do like this car because you are getting the Porsche handling, you are getting the Porsche name, you are getting the Porsche engine. Yeah. And uh, you're able to not take a 911, which to most people is very expensive, and, yeah. and then put it in harm's way. Now, aside from the Porsche and, and uh, stuff, what, what other things what do you have in your background? Um, experience, right now I'm going into my senior year of college. Ooh, almost done. Very excited. Um, but there I'm a double major in dance and anthropology. So dance has definitely been with me, like my whole life. You know what I mean? Like it's stereotypical, three-year-old in ballet class, you know. Um, so hopefully I'm going to take that into my future and I also like take that in my daily life like with confidence and like modeling definitely like with physicality things like that. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. And are you planning to bring dance into the channel? Oh yes, definitely, definitely. Um, I'm very excited for the new studio because that's going to have a lot of space and we can make that lit and everything. and. Um, yeah, I definitely want to bring it into the channel and have more of like a modeling, dance, not so much car area. Um, we definitely have to discuss it more, obviously, and see where we're really going with it. But. Well, I mean, the channel is models and cars, and I said all along that it's it, every video will have something to do with models or cars or both. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's definitely something yeah. that we're we're going to the direction we're going. It doesn't yeah. necessarily need cars in every video. Mm -hmm. um, and the physicality of modeling and the physicality of dance complement each other very well and it wouldn't feel out of place, you know. Mm -hmm. So moving on to your modeling, you're modeling with Leviticus Fashions. Tell yes. us about that. Yes, um, lovely boots, lovely people. I have loved working with them. Um, I haven't seen them in a while because of COVID, which is really sad, but um, I've definitely still been working and wearing the boots and uh, just loving them. They have lasted me so well, like I still wear them. Um, still look new. I can't wait for more to, to show everyone, you know. So let's talk about what have we done with, uh, you know, some of the people maybe new to the channel. Let's talk about what we've done with the, the Leviticus boots because they've been a, a pretty big part of the channel as, as every bit as much as the cars. Definitely, definitely. As so, well as modeling. Let's see, we started with, um, <laughs> with with you and Leviticus, we started with the, the Christmas shoot, wasn't it? Oh yeah, that was cute. Yeah, that's we went, really cute. We went down to the world's largest piece candle, and uh -huh. we did the, uh, I think we did two videos with that, and that was really yeah. intrigating. Very festive, very what you could wear with the holiday look, you know what I mean, and it was really nice. And actually before that, I think it was before that we did the boot reviews. We actually, you talked about the review, before? I think that was before, because that was probably one of our was. biggest videos for the channel. Yes. Yeah, it probably was. Yeah, yeah they're still amazing boots. Um, so we're definitely looking to do more reviews of their, their stuff, yeah. and those are videos that don't have the cars in them as well. Yeah, and they're also like super informational, like if you're definitely trying to buy the boots and everything, yeah. Yeah, if you're looking for a, a high boot, uh, they do have uh, up to the knee, just below the knee, and then they also have styles that are thigh high and, what do they call them, boot pants. Yes, yeah. The boot pants, so it's actually a pair of pant, leather pants with the boots right built mm -hmm. into them, so that's very interesting as well. Mm -hmm. From the Christmas one, I think we did a couple of little things in between, yeah. but we really hit it did hard. Did like a country one. Well, we hit it hard before the country one, we hit it hard with Valentine's Day. Oh, yeah. And we did that Love Out Loud yeah, piece that was a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, another big video for the channel. It was a lot of uh, fun to do. Yeah. Um, and then we did the Country Girl one. When, mm -hmm. And you had said, uh, you had mentioned that you haven't driven the bug yet, but you have. You drove it a little bit in the Yeah, that was like 
a big backyard though. You yeah. know what I mean? It wasn't like you're going off roading. It was like a little taste. You know, it wasn't the whole meal. <laughs> but it was yeah, no, it was definitely a lot of fun. And we did get footage of that, yeah. And I love being with the chickens too. <laughs> I don't know, but that's weird. That's my favorite part of the video, just the chickens. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. they held up well too. Like I was walking around, it was muddy, and I was very concerned about those boots. You know what I mean? Like they were high quality, and I was walking around in mud. Yeah, but yeah. It was really okay. Yeah, no, yeah, they did a. It was a great job, and you know, we, we, we do try to. You know, we're we're doing a lot of videos with those boots, so we try to keep them in great shape, yeah. and we you know. Yeah, we could get them money, we could clean them, and things like that, but we want to keep try and keep them looking new so that we can use them again and again. Definitely. Yeah, so uh, it was a, a great time. Now, um, so you've driven, you have a Porsche, you've driven the Bug uh, for short distances, and you have driven it a bit. Yeah, it was my car. Okay. <laughs> no, I mean, since it's been great. Since it's been the Scarab. Yeah, since it's been Scarab. Um, but you haven't driven Hot Wheels yet. Oh my god, no. And that's kind of weird, because that's the one you've had the longest. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Is it going to be think, one of those I videos? think what... I, probably. Probably. But I'm thinking what like keeps me from doing it is how many blind spots there is in that car and how big it is and how short I am. You know what I mean? Because I can't really like see everything. <laughs> yeah, it is. It is definitely larger than any car you've ever yeah. owned. Yeah. Um, but I mean, you drive. You drive the Crown Victoria. A lot. I hate driving the Crown Vic. I hate driving. But you it. do. The only difference. When I have you. to. <laughs> when I need more than two people in my car. <laughs> I yeah. mean, yeah. i It's just intimidating. You know. I don't know. And I feel like I also only just started in the past six months, I would say, getting really comfortable with stick shift, you know, because before then there's a lot of anxiety with it and whatever. But I think I've gotten to the point where I'm really, really comfortable with it, so I, I'm probably getting to that point where I'll definitely I think it was longer than six months. I'm going to say it's going to be eight or nine months. Probably. I would say since the beginning of last summer. Oh, wait, that's like a year. Yeah, no, I would say it was when you bought the Porsche. And you were like, yep, no, nope, well, you can drive a manual. <laughs> yeah, but I wasn't even looking for an, an automatic. I was pretty much only looking at manuals by that point. So I would say since the beginning of last summer. So I would say okay. like a year. Okay. So maybe it's about time. <laughs> maybe it's about time I drive Hot Wheels. Alright. Well, Don't yell at me if I crash it. Oh, <laughs> okay. Um, I'll, I'll tell you what. It. <laughs> yeah, I won't yell at you for stalling Hot Wheels. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, no, I won't crash it, but I'll probably stall it. <laughs> <laughs> you need your car. You need to oh, it. that's a big, yeah, no. Um, do the, like, followers know that it's Libby Lou? I don't think so. Oh, it's a Libby Lou. Um, so the story behind the name is kind of two-parted. Um, when I was signing the papers at the dealership, you know what I mean, they were reading the license plate off to me, and it was just like, Libby, and I was like, Ooh, I like it. And then my mom next to me, she was like, Libby Lou. And I was like, ooh, I like it. And so I kept it, Libby Lou. And then I kind of like realized that Libby Lou used to be like a makeover thing that you went to when you were like 10 years old with your girlfriends for their birthday party. They like glittered you and put you in pink leopard print and did some crazy things. and. I don't know, it just seemed like it fit, you yeah, know, for, it fit. I don't think that was a nationwide type of thing, but there was actually a company that was called Libby Lou, and it was, it was that's exactly what it was, as she said, it was a makeover, glamorous makeover uh, for young girls, and you know, they had a pink limousine, that oh, thing, yeah, they pick did. people Stretch up there, and, <laughs> and they'd take you, and you have birthday parties mm -hmm. there, and it would just be makeup, and cake, and yeah. all kinds of boas, and feathers and yeah. you name it and they would just did doll you up like a rock star mm -hmm. or a princess or whatever you wanted and that's where the name Libby Lou came from yeah and when she saw the little Libby that, that's what it was but yeah it was yeah. a lot of a lot of fun so yes we did uh you did name the car Libby Lou so if you hear us refer to as Libby Lou because I know it's been out there on yeah, the channel but, but I really know, haven't it's a, addressed it yeah it's so, Libby Lou. <laughs> yeah, this is a great way to uh, to get to know people in their cars. And yeah. we are, we're doing this partially because of COVID-19. We have not been to a car show at all this year. They're starting to come around a little bit, but 
Um, realistically, you know, we want to have people here to share these types of things about their car, about themselves, and get to know the people in their cars and things like that. So uh, if you're in the area of Eastern Pennsylvania, you want to come up and sit with us in the garage and have a conversation about your car and, and uh, why you chose what you did, we'd love to have you here. Make sure you uh, contact us. You can go into the YouTube page and uh, on the uh, About Us tab, there'll be our contact information. You can email me there. Uh, thanks for coming on and sharing your stories. We yeah. really appreciate it. I'm sure that you guys are interested to hear a lot more about Maddie and uh, we'll be continuing to move this on. If you haven't heard, we are going to be doing a name contest for this segment. So if you like these and you have an idea for a name for us to call this other than the Models and Cars interview, yeah. um, we're looking for something and the winner, they come, the first person to come up with the name that we love the most will win a signed autograph poster of Maddie. Yeah, thank you so much for having me and allowing me to spread my stories about me and my car. And I'm so excited to continue with this interviewing segment and giving me your platform. I am so grateful for So yeah, thank you. And I'll see you all later.